Hey everyone, welcome back to Mean Gene Hacks. Today I have some exciting news to share with you about a new language model that's making waves in the AI world. It's called Alpaca, developed by Stanford University and it's a fine-tuned version of the Llama large language model released by Meta AI. But there's more to it than just that. What's truly groundbreaking about Alpaca is that it's only 7 billion parameters Yet Stanford claims it's comparable in performance to the 175 billion parameter GPT-3 model. Let's dive in and find out more. First, let's talk about Llama. Llama is the base model that was released by Meta AI two weeks ago. It made waves for two reasons. First, the model weights were leaked on 4chan and the news cycle picked it up. In this article, they state that the powerful AI model has been leaked and some worry the technology will be used for harm. Most of the ones who are LARPing about safety are the same large companies such as Google and OpenAI who keep their models private and use the safety excuse to not open up their research. I'm pretty sure it's financial reasons motivating these companies to keep their models private and they are only using safety as an excuse. Now let's briefly look at the research paper from Meta. Meta released a collection of large language models ranging from 7 billion to 65 billion parameters. The big news here is that they train these models on trillions of tokens. This is significantly more training than most other models released to date. Okay, so what's all this mean? Well, in their paper, Meta shows that their Llama 13 billion parameter model can outperform GPT-3 on several common sense reasoning tasks. This is a huge deal because we've never seen such small LLMs perform this well. I mean, we have models that are trained on a single task and can perform that single task such as text classification. However, this is really the first time a large language model and a relatively small one at that has outperformed a very large model such as GPT-3 in common sense reasoning tasks. So Facebook or Meta AI's powerful Llama model leaks and what happens next? Well, within a week, Stanford released a fine-tuned variant of Llama that they call Alpaca. So what's so groundbreaking and novel about Alpaca, you may ask? Well, the first thing that Stanford showed was that you could tune, fine-tune a smaller language model, in this case, Llama, 7 billion parameter, using data extracted from a larger model, namely GPT-3. Here they hand-created a seed data set of 175 human-curated instruct tasks and basically asked GPT-3 to create 52,000 more. Normally such a instruct data set would take an enormous resources of either volunteers or paid contractors. But for about $500 in open AI tokens, Stanford was able to generate a large instruct data set for fine tuning. Next, they used about $100 of cloud resources to fine tune the 7 billion parameter Llama model on this data set ending up with what they call alpaca. You might still be asking yourself, what's so special about all this? Didn't Meta claim that Llama 13 billion outperformed GPT-3? Well, the devil is in the details. Meta only claimed that Llama outperformed GPT-3 on a range of common sense reasoning tasks, as well as a few other tasks. While this is a very impressive feat in and of itself, after the model leaked, it became very clear that Llama did not outperform GPT-3 across the board, especially considering that Llama was never fine-tuned on instruct tasks. So it required a lot of prompt engineering to get the model to output something reasonable, a lot like the original text Da Vinci 1 models. Now, pay attention. This one paragraph in the Stanford blog is what I consider the most groundbreaking feature of Alpaca. After fine-tuning their auto-generated instruct data set, the Stanford team conducted evaluations. And here you can see that they said, we performed a blind pairwise comparison between Text Da Vinci 3 and Alpaca 7b. 
and we found that these two models have very similar performance. Alpaca wins 90 versus 89 comparisons against Text DaVinci 3. Let's put things into context. In 2022, Lambda Labs stated it would take about 355 GPU years and $4.6 million to train GPT-3. That was the best estimate at the time. And even in December of 2022, just less than four months ago, estimates of training a GPT-3 sized model using cloud compute resources were in the low $4 million range. Now, less than four months later, Stanford demonstrated it's possible to train a model comparable to GPT-3 for less than $600. And what's even more amazing is in the past week, that price using eight and four bit quantization has come down to under $6 worth of compute using a single consumer grade NVIDIA 4090 GPU. OpenAI can't be too happy about all this and will probably see less openness from these companies producing large AI models with them using safety as an excuse. We've already started seeing this in the past couple of years. However, this is a big win for open source and open research. Finally, let's quickly look at some of the output. Remember, this is coming from a small 7 billion parameter model. Myself and others have already fine-tuned 13 billion and even 30 billion parameter variants. But one of the first things that you notice in the output is for a 7 billion parameter model, the output is surprisingly good. What is an alpaca? Well, the Stanford uh, 7 billion parameter model gives a pretty good uh, response. Let's look at some of these other examples. Write an email to congratulate new Stanford admits and mention that you're excited about meeting them in person. Well, here's the email. Previous six and seven million parameter models would never be able to do something like this. Here's a couple of limitations, couple of issues that occur in the seven billion parameter model. But take a look. Take a look at the Stanford blog. I'll paste the link below and decide for yourself. Try it out. See what you think. I'd be interested to know what you guys think about the alpaca model in the comments below. And thanks for watching.